Okay, so this is going to be a little demonstration of what happens if you teach in one tool and then change to another, or vice versa. So I have a little program here. It basically looks like this. So I have three points. I have a home position and then P1 and P2. And basically what this program is going to do, it's just going to bounce between this little triangular movement here. I will run this. So it basically does this. This goes from home to P1, then back to home, and then to P2 in that pattern right there. So what we've got, you can see, let me back here. So I have P home, and I've taught, and then call that one in tool zero. And I have P1 and P2, both taught and called with T10. So that is a TCP that is defined at the tip of the pencil. So tool zero is basically up here. T pen is down here. So this is 200 millimeters in the Z direction from here to here. X and Y are zero. Z is 200 millimeters offset in the Z direction for T pen. And as you can see with my program, I use tool zero on my home moves to call it, and I use T pen on my uh, P1 and P2 to call them. Now it's very important when you teach these positions that you teach it with the same tool that they are called in. I'll show you what happens if that is not the case. So we saw that shape just a minute ago. If I were to make a change to this, so let's say if I were to change this first one here, which right now is being called with T0, if I change the tool on this and change that to T pen, what happens? So that's my first move, so it's gonna go from home to P1 and then back to home and then to P2. So what happens on the move right before it goes to P1? Let's watch that. So that's P1, back to home, to P2. Now watch on this next move what happens. Look where that went. So that is now at that top line right there. That's, you can tell that's where it thinks it's at because that's where the little robot icon is. So it moved to home position according to T pen. But you can see home position now, if it's moving relative to T pen, is actually above where home position should be. And if we were to measure this, it's actually 200 millimeters above where that is, which is basically the difference in those two tool positions. So this is why we need to be very careful in calling these things. Now, similar, what happens if we go the other way? And we were to change one of these pen movements to T0. So let's go to the second one here. Change this one to T0. What happens here? So notice that P2 is now using T0 instead of T10. I am going to slow the speed down on this. So I know what's going to happen. It's going to move into the table.
I just want to be in control of it when it happens. And let's watch this. So that's P1, which is correct. Original home, which is correct. And then this one here, which is going to be incorrect. And I'm going to stop that before it hits the table. But that is basically traveling 200 millimeters lower than it should. Okay. So that is a problem. So now the question is, how do we actually get this to work if we want to use this If we actually want to do this in a way where we can actually call them all with a different uh, tool. So the, the solution there is we actually have, we need to teach it with a different tool. So we'll show that. Okay, so the trick here is that we can actually do this. But what we need to make sure is that we're actually jogging and recording the position in the same mode that we're going to call it in, in the same tool we're going to call it in. So I am going to, let's say I want to call these all with tool zero. So I can do that, but I just need to get to all these positions and modify the positions using tool zero. So if I want to go reteach P2 using tool zero I need to make sure I'm actually using tool zero so I'm going to go under jogging and I'm in tool zero right now jogging, I'm actually jogging in tool zero. So if I want to teach everything in tool zero, I'll make sure I'm in this mode. And I'm just going to modify my points. So I'm now at position two. So I'm at position two and I'm just going to modify. I'm calling it with two. I'm still calling these first. This home position was just wrong. I was already taught in tool zero. I'm gonna change that back to tool zero. That'll fix that one. And now P1, I need to teach that in tool zero as well. So let's move over to P1. So let's say that's over there. Now P1, modify that position, and modify. No, it says for the wrong tool selected. Okay. And modify position. Okay, so now I'm calling everything from tool zero. So now this should run properly. I'm just gonna step it through because I made some pretty radical changes here so I'm just going to step it through the first time make sure everything's okay so that's home one home two back to home and I should be able to run Continuous. That's doing everything with tool zero. And if I wanted to call everything with 
tool pen. I could basically do the same thing. I would just need to reteach everything in pen. So that's changing it to pen. So my home position. Change that to pen. Modify that position. Pen. Change this. Pen. And then I need to go to my one and two. using pen for everything. Again, let's step through this just to make sure. That all looks good, so let's run in auto. There we go. 